It was previously reported that IU was working through issues regarding accusations of plagiarism of her song The Red Shoes. Unfortunately, it seems the issues are still currently ongoing. The latest development in the ongoing plagiarism controversy surrounding IU's hit song The Red Shoes involves a refutation from her agency, Edom Entertainment, regarding the allegations made by German band Nekta. On June 21, KST, Edom posted an official statement on their account, clarifying that Nekta's claims were not factually accurate. Specifically, Edom denied that they had failed to respond to any communication from Nekta at the time of the initial accusation. Furthermore, Edom shared part of an email they had previously sent to Nekta in 2013, refuting Nekta's recent claims that IU and her agency had not contacted them to address the issue. The plagiarism accusations launched against IU's song originated back in 2013 when it was noted that the red shoes bore similarities to Here's Us, a piece released by Nekta in 2009. IU and her team dismissed the allegations, citing different chord progressions between the two songs. Nevertheless, the claims persisted, and now, Nekta's producer, Norton Entertainment Publishing, has refuted IU and her agency's account of attempts to clarify the matter. According to Norton, no communication ever took place, and they did not receive a response despite reaching out. Read Edom Entertainment's official statement below. This is IU's agency, Edom Entertainment. We would like to inform you of the position regarding today's report. The German band Nekta's claims are clearly different from the basic facts. Nectar recently claimed on their homepage that they had contacted the artist and her then agency, Loan Entertainment, as well as the current agency, Edom Entertainment, several times from 2013 to the present, when allegations of plagiarism were raised, but that they did not respond. However, this is not true. In this regard on June 21, we disclosed part of the contents of the email sent to Nekta by our then affiliate Loan Entertainment through a law firm. In response to Nekta's claim that we did not respond at the time, we refute this claim. The email published through social media was sent to Nekta on December 4, 2013 and the sender was the law firm of Loan. In an official letter sent by the law firm to Nekta at the time, it said, there are cases in which the copyright holder's permission was not obtained for a case known as a legal representative of a foreign copyright holder, so Nekta members Jiso Hilger, Natalie Schaefer, and Norton Entertainment Publishing request that you provide a copy of the legal warrant. This is likely to be data that supports the content that last month, producer Jo Young Cheol, who produced IU's album, did not respond to the email and official letter from Nekta to confirm the basic facts through a statement. In addition as Nekta claims on its website, neither the company, nor the agency at the time, nor the composer, etc. have released any interviews, press releases, or official positions to the effect that discussions in this regard have been concluded. Moreover, since artists are singers, not copyright holders, we believe that a cautious stance must be maintained in disclosing opinions related to copyright. Meanwhile, we have confirmed that Nekta sent an email to us once again recently. As this is a serious matter, we confirm that we sent a response to this to Nekta on June 20 after going through a legal review process.